Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince in our room 2 tournament match. It's going to be on the Meta Senna Blues Tournament round 2, so again, best of 1. Match between Obelix of TGR Clan and Derta of AVA. Obelix is in command of the Nervi army, or Nervi, Derta commands Tylus. Now I'm gonna go over the build of Nervi here. He's got up front 4 Levy Freeman. Uh, supported by, let's see, a lot of Oatshorns it seems. And he's got one, two, three, four Oatshorns. And a bunch of Celtics as well. One, two, three Celtic Warriors. So that's a pretty strong uh, Nervy main line. Behind those, he has two Light Horse and two Mighty Horse. Then we also see. Two more Levy Freeman in the back, so six Levy Freeman total expected, I suppose. And then the Oathsworn Strategist General. So he has five Oathsworns and three Celtics. Or no, not three Celtics, my bad. Two Celtics and a Fierce Sword. So one, two, one, two, three, four, yeah, five Oathsworns. This is a very, very strong contingent by Nervi here. What he brought but I think he should have brought instead of the fierce sword maybe another Celtic and could have upgraded the light horse to mighty horse perhaps I'm not sure but again still very very strong build by Nervi here uh, that was uh, Obelix's build now I'm gonna go over Durta's build he's got let's see uh, let's see he's got a front line of six Levy Freeman that is expected behind those he has he actually has some skirmishes on the field Three Thracian Peltists in total. No, he has one Celtic Slinger on each flank, so two in total, and then a Thracian Peltist in the center. He also brought two Raiding Horse. Very good choice. He has uh, a Noble Horse as well. This isn't the very usual, but we'll see if he can put it uh, to you. If if he can make it you uh, make it work. It's going to be hard though against uh, all these Levy Freemen. Then we see that he has how many Oathsworns? He only has two Oathsworns compared to Nervi. So he does have a sword disadvantage against Nervi here. But yeah, with two Oathsworns only. However, he does have a lot of tribals. So six tribals and two Oathsworns. This is very, very strong still. And he has. Uh, Skirmishes and the Noble Force, something that Nervi doesn't have. So it's going to be interesting to see how this match is actually going to play out. Both of them are staring at each other, trying to see what they can do. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because not much is actually happening at this point. You can see 11 minutes, so the engagement hasn't really started. You can see the Raining Horse just. Uh, Trying to do as much damage, but not really managing to do too, too much here. Celtic Warriors, Spear Swords, and Celtic Warriors in the main line. You can see Raiding Horse charged into Levy Freeman, but that was not effective at all by, tro uh, by not Trolley Bully. <laughs> Just the match I uh, casted earlier by Durta. So, so yeah, again, the main line uh, contingent of uh, Tylus is not as strong as Nervi, because Nervi has... Five Oatsworns, however, he does have the advantage in terms of uh, skirmishes, so we'll see if uh, Tylus can take advantage of that. And of course, these are just Celtics and Fierce Swords. Oatsworns are in like are doing some weird things, like the way they are positioned. <laughs> kind of interesting to see them like that. So Levy Freeman over here facing the Raiding Horse again. Uh, Raiding Horse are starting to. Get winded and tired. Levy Freeman here getting shot in the unprotected side, so they're gonna take a bit of damage, especially to yeah Celtic Slingers. These guys do well. Ooh, rear shots into the Osorn Chen of Nervi. He should be turning it around, but he isn't. And now he's going to get his Light Horse shot. Ooh, Light Horse also kill a bunch of Raiding Horse, and they might kill this uh, Raiding Horse, but it's a bit too fast. Ooh, I don't know what they're doing. They're gonna pull back, but still lots of damage done by Durta here with the Raiding Horse. Very well done. 
I mean, he lost a few of them, but I mean, he, he he's just gonna have to do a lot of damage to the Ulster General, which he already has. He's done a bit of damage right now and his Thracian Palthists in the center they will have to target the Ulsorns or even hopefully the Ulsorn general because that's the biggest problem for him and the Celtic Slingers I mean it's going to be hard for Tylus to pull this off but definitely possible I think Cause yeah he can't he, he will have a hard time winning in a straight up engagement just because of the five Ulsorns because he only has two and sure, Tribal Warriors are insane, but he's gonna have to do some magical moves. Like here, ooh, very nice charge with Reinforcement into Levy Freeman. Now he's going to disengage from the Levy Freeman. Here, the Raiding Horse will actually get caught and shot by Javelins. Ooh, lots of damage done onto the Raiding Horse. That was, those were some very good jab volleys by uh, Obelix. And here, wasted jab volleys. Yeah, very well done uh, by Obelix here to deal with that one raiding horse. It's already down to 29 men, so very, very effective trade. And again, look at uh, the Celtic Slingers starting to do well here. They're already weakening the Celtic Warriors. But, I mean, the thing about Tylus is that it has eight pretty strong melee units, whereas uh, Nervi has five strong melee units and three kind of like okay-ish swords I guess so if he can neutralize these uh, weaker swords very quickly he could actually beat the Osorns and ooh some very nice shots into the rear of the mighty horse here doing a lot of damage nicely done with the Celtic Slingers uh, by uh, Durta here and Durta's Levy Freeman will be able to beat these three Levy Freeman because they're they, they, he just has more Levy Freeman on the field I mean you can see that uh, Nervi is being I think that Nervi is being way too passive. He should have attacked long ago because he's letting the Celtic Slingers do damage onto his swords. Uh, Oblix, that is. He shouldn't be letting the Celtic Slingers target them. And look at the, this Mighty Horse is falling so, so rapidly for Oblix. This is very bad for Oblix here. These Celtic Slingers are really doing a lot of work. And look at them go. They're still killing this, own, this Mighty Horse unit. It's down to 44 men and it's still dropping. Not very quickly, because it's a Celtic Slinger unit, doesn't have too much missile damage, it's not like a Syrian Archer or something, or even Balearic Slingers, but still. The engagement has started over here, and the Levy Freeman will actually die, because there's Spear Swords engaged here. More Levy Freeman coming through, but these guys will die to Tribals if the engagement does start. He might want to throw Javs onto them, though, Obelix, that is. Uh... Of course, these Celtics here will defeat, help defeat the Levy Freeman. And Raiding Horsemen being very annoying here. So, this engagement so far in the center, it looks alright for uh, for Nervi, but his start, he's gonna start losing uh, units to the Thracian Peltas. But I don't think the Thracian Peltas should be doing damage to the Fierce Sword. Inf instead, it should be targeting Osorns. He's These guys have limited ammunition. Now we see this is going to be a good engagement for Tylus, though. Because he's going to get his tribals in to Celtic Warriors, and that's going to be good. They're going to have an uninterrupted charge, and they're going to do very well here, as will the tribals here. Look at this Celtic Warrior getting destroyed. However, the tribals are getting shot by Levy Freeman. Still, I think this is a good engagement for Tylus. He should be charging this unit, though, I feel, with Levy Freeman. Or at least throwing some jabs, but I, I guess he's just using it in reserve to deal with the old swords. But again... Uh, Tylus has done what uh, it needed to do. It's it's gonna get rid of these Celtic warriors fairly quickly. Ooh, but he does need to. I don't think he needed to engage this unit here. He, now he's going to get charged in the flank by Oathsorns. That's not gonna be a good time for those tribals. So Levy Freeman here are dying, but again the Peltas are wasting shots this time on Levy Freeman. This isn't good for. Uh, Tylus at all. However, he's still focusing on the Mighty Horse. That is really good. These Celtic Slingers have done some damage as well. This unit of Levy Freeman should be charging that one for sure. The Osorns, uh I mean, these Tribals here will actually do alright. Because uh, against one Osorn, it's not going to be too, too bad, but still. Noble Horse coming in through the center, it's going to stop the charges of uh, Nervi. Here comes the main engagement. Tribal Seer will kill the Mighty Horse, especially with Celtic Slingers. Very well done. 
And the Levy Freeman charge isn't gonna do much here. Ooh, Light Horse coming through into the Noble Horse. This is very, very strange. And these Celtic Slingers targeting Levy Freeman. That's not good. Raining Horse coming around. They might be able to do some damage. This Raining Horse has to has to go and maybe snipe the Nervy General. But it's gonna be hard with all those cavalry units. So Nervy is actually gonna end up losing in the center to these old swords, however. Yeah, Tylus is also going to win here because he's up against Oldsworns with his Oldsworn general, so that's going to be good. And he's already popped Headhunt. He should pop Battle Rhythm as soon because he hasn't actually. I don't think he has. I don't see it anyway. Yeah, these tribals here. Again, the Oldsworn is doing really well against tribals, as it should. The tribals aren't in shield wall here. Nervy's uh, cavalry is going around, so they might do well. But this flank is going to get wrapped around by tribals. This also won't be cost efficient at all here. Raining Horse trying to chase units away. Center for Nervy is starting to break because of the flanking tribals here. And very nice slinger shots into the general of Nervy. Look at how quickly it's starting to fall. Thracian Feltus have already used all their ammo, so that wasn't too good for Tylus. Uh, to use the Thracian Peltus on Fear Swords and uh, on Levy Freeman, that was a huge waste in my opinion. Light Horse charging the rear of Tribals. Don't see this too often, but more of them might actually die charging than they get to kill. Interesting trade here. Uh, Raiding Horse should charge into the Levy Freeman if they want them routed off the field. But they see that Light Horse coming around, so no. Mighty Horse here getting chased off by Raiding Horse and Levy Freeman. Very well done by Durta here. And Dirta should be able to grind out the main fight with his old swords. Yeah, the old sworn general of Nervy not doing too too well here. Ooh, this isn't looking too good for Nervy anymore. And he did pop shield wall and headhunt, so right now uh, the tribals can just pull out and then charge back in. It would be really good for Tylus if he does that. Ooh, the old swords getting shot, and there they go off the field. So Noble Horse disengaging right now for Tylus. Mighty Horse rear charging these tribals might be off the field, but at this point Nervy doesn't really have enough, I feel. Too many units left for Tylus on the field. So again, I think that a big part of this battle was that he got rid of three swords. Tylus got rid of three swords that Nervy had initially. Which allowed uh, which allowed um, Durta to gang up on the Oldsworns later on with his units as he had 8 swords against 5. That was a very important moment. The fact that he got those 3 weaker tier swords out of the fight first, that was really good for Durta I think and could be what won him the game. As well as the Slingers just and the Raiding Horse destroying the Mighty Horse and uh, such. Like they did really well and the HP damage on the swords that they did was important. Two, so again uh, very well played by Durta here. Just, again, difficult matchup for Nervy to win. But with the build that he brought, he could have definitely won. Because he had a lot of uh, power in melee. But anyway, uh, that is it. So, hope you guys girls enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video, and I shall see you next time.